Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the uh, first introduction that is what is React. So we'll try to learn about the meaning of this React and why we need to use this React and the definition of this React library. Let's try to see. If you see in the React official documentation, if you try to observe carefully, you'll be able to see the definition as React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. So this is the definition which you will be able to see in the React official documentation. React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. So let's try to expand this definition a bit. So now you'll be able to understand the definition is not that much of clear, right? So we'll try to understand the definition clearly. So I can say that React is an extremely popular declarative component based state driven JavaScript library for building interfaces created by the Facebook. So this is the complete definition which I can say. If you try to observe carefully, we have I have used some uh, popular terminologies or terms like extremely popular declarative component based state driven and javascript library so these are the terms i have used it let's try to analyze these things, uh, parts one by one component based first we'll try to see about the component based so react is all based on the components only like search button and so on so whatever the things list everything whichever the thing you are trying to develop in react is a component of based approach so components are the building block of user interfaces in react so these components are the building blocks we build complex ui by building and combining multiple components so everything in the react is a component based so we will combine all those multiple com components and we will build the complex ui since we develop complex ui using components each one must have all the information about what it looks like we describe how components look like and how they work using a declarative syntax called as jsx so this is the thing so now the component which i am trying to tell so if you are trying to develop the ui using components each component must have all the information about how it looks like so this how it looks like and all those things so we will be using a declarative syntax called as in jsx declarative simple means telling react what a component should look like based of the current data or state so we are telling to the react that how the component should look like based on the current state or data which are you are having so react is an abstraction away from the dom that means we never touch the dom so there is also one important thing so by using react we never touch the dom so we never have to work with dom directly jsx is simply a syntax that combines html css javascript as well as referencing the other react components also so this is a syntax jsx we will try to see about this jsx also is it is simply a syntax that combines the html css javascript and all and as well as sometimes referencing the other react components note if we uh, so now if we uh, if we never touch the dom okay so now we have discussed right so if we never touch the dom then how react updates the ui so that is a one one question which you may be getting in your mind that's where the concept of state comes into play so here that the concept of state comes into play here only remember the main goal of react is to keep the ui in sync with data and we can call the data as state so whenever you are having a data so it will try to keep the ui in sync with the data so we can call that data sometimes as state also now onwards i will call this data as a state so whenever the state changes react reacts to the state changes by re-rendering the ui so this is one of the important concept you need to understand whenever the states or data changes the react reacts to the state changes by re-rendering the ui so that is the one thing now we understood about this this thing so now you may be another thing most most pro, most of them are having doubt is is react a library or a framework 
So React is actually just a library, even though I keep calling sometimes as a framework. So don't think that it's a framework. It is just actually is a library. React itself is really so called the view layer. So it's not a framework. It's all it's something called as a view layer. If you want to build a complete real world application, we need to choose multiple external libraries to add to your project example for routing or for data fetching. So why we why I am trying to say this react is not a framework is for example using the react if you want to develop a really large real world application. So we need to choose external multiple libraries like for routing we need to get a library for data fetching APIs and all the things we need to get in another external library like this we need it. So if we so there are multiple frameworks that have been built on the top of the react. So normally react is a library, but there are also frameworks that are built on the top of the react frameworks includes all these functionalities out of the box that react is missing. Whatever the react is missing, this framework includes all those functionalities. Most popular ones are called are Next.js and Remix. So you people are already aware of this one Next.js and Remix. Beside all these features, maybe the biggest reason to choose React over all the other frameworks that are similar is because React is extremely popular. So beside these all the features we have learned it right. The biggest reason to choose React maybe it could be the thing that React is extreme, extremely popular. Many large companies have adopted React a long time ago and more and more small companies are also following in their footsteps. Now all these companies around the world need React developers which of, of course has created a huge worldwide job market. So there is also a very large and active React developer community also. So this is also one of the reasons. So now react was created by Facebook. Okay, you already aware of this one react was created in 2011 by Jordan walk an engineer working at Facebook at the time. That's why react is backed up by Facebook. Now with the Facebook is called as in meta. Their first react is used in the news feed and also in chat application. So the, when the first react was introduced in 2011, it was first used in the news feed and also chart application. And therefore it has been spread into the entire to the Facebook application and also to the Instagram application also. In 2013 react has been more open source for everyone to use it. React now has converted to truly and completely front end development. So this is all about the history of the react and what are the features and the definition of the react which I have discussed you. So mainly react you need to understand two main things. So it will keep in sync with the data using the UI uh, sorry keep in sync with the UI using the data and also whenever the data or state changes it will re-render the UI. So these are the two things which you keep into keep in mind. So that's it guys about the react introduction and the definition. So most deep more deeply and all those things I have already covered in our react complete course which I have told it earlier. So this is a nominal introduction which I am trying to give you. Hope you understood about the definition of the react and why we use the react and why the react is more popular these days. So this is these are the reasons and you can check it in the NPM trends also. So the most downloaded in the NPM. So the react is very much popular. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.